Hello everybody! This is the Counting 2022 Second Quarter Edition. Pun intended. Now, we are going to count the money, all the coins that are in this crayon bank. Because three months ago, back in January 12, 2022, I counted what was inside the how many pesos were inside this crayon bank. And I miscalculated on the video. So I changed the so I actually so I put the actual total amount on the title. So to prevent miscalculation, I bought uh, I brought here with me a pen and paper. So let's start counting. <laughs> I uh, no, I actually didn't want to do that. I didn't know why it did that. Oh god, I, why am I so stupid? I, what? It's absolutely ginormous. Wow. There are lots of coins in here. They're gen... There's... Take a look at this. This thing is... The size of my head. And look at that. It's filled to the brim. Oh, Jesus Christ. So, all right. So let's let's take out all the coins and we're going to count them. So. Oh, my God. Look at this. Look at that. Are you serious? All right. How am I going to count all of this? Well, I'm going to count them. Here are the 20 peso coins. Also, you do not know this, but I'm currently recording on April 11, 2022. So, back in April 10th, I, at, at the like late night, around 10 p.m. or 11 p.m. It's around that range, like 10.45 or 10.35. So, on the evening on of April 10, 2022, I made a bet with my younger brother, Kentry. I said, if I will be given a laptop on Kamigin Island, which we'll be going to on Thursday, on Monday Thursday, of the Holy Week because we celebrate the Holy Week here in the Philippines. Uh, if someone gives me a laptop on Kamigin Island, I will give him one of these. So if he, if someone does not give me uh, a laptop, then he will smell my mouth and ear and nose and throat, and my armpits, and my neck. Oh, I'm sorry, I said throat, it should be neck. Uh, and yeah, he's going to smell every single body part that's stinky. My body parts that are stinky. So we're going to count all of these, and we're just gonna have to arrange these. Actually, I'm going to arrange these. Let's first start with the tens. There, I've collected a lot of 10 peso coins. Also, this thing is rare because... Can I, can I focus a little bit? I know it's inverted, but... Compared to... This thing has very round edges. This one has jagged edges. Like, How many sides are there? One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight. Is this thing a nonagon? I don't know. Let's see. Let's count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's a nonagon. The usual five peso coin is round. This thing has a nonagon pattern on the exterior. 
it has the same flowers, the same things that, yeah. This thing was manufactured in 2019. This one was manufactured in 2019. Well, and we will continue arranging these coins. I have collected both old and new 10 peso coins. So we will put them on different on different uh, rows. There we go. One of the 20 peso coins that I'm going to use to bet on whether or not I'll be given a laptop on Kavigin Island will not be counted here. I'm going to gamble my 20 peso coin. One of them. Also, I have collected old and new five peso coins. So they'll be put in different rows too. But the one peso coins will not be put on, this, the di on different rows. They'll be put on the same because there's not many uh, obvious differences. Except for the fact that it's shinier and smaller. So we're not going to put them on different rows. I am very overwhelmed by the fact that I have collected tons of 10 peso coins. Just take a look at the stack just right now. This is the 10 peso coin stack. That's also the new, uh, that's also the old one. Not, it's not even the new one. <laughs> what? Ah, all right. You're gonna see me count all of these coins. I'm not going to go on your detail. No, I'm going to go on your detail. Oh, but I'm going to go Just didn't want to talk because she was 
in here. All right. Uh, this is going to take so long, and I'm even recording all of this. I don't not mind recording all of this, actually. All right. Let me turn on off the lights first. I'm only going to turn off those lights because, <clears throat> you know, you also need to see me count these coins. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, all right. All right. Us gun we are going to look for coins that are not one peso. I also have these 25 centavo coins, so we're going to put them in a different table or desk. Oh, Christ. Woo! Aha! I just got another one and another one. Said nothing at all. Then my father's going to see him. Okay. All right, take a look at just the one peso coins alone. It's not even flattened, like there are still some bumps right over here. Yep, and uh, oh God. So right now, there are still two twenty peso coins I want to collect more of that and yeah also remember we are not going to count the 120 peso coin that I'm going to use to bet if I receive a laptop or not so in this video we're not going to count it just go to the description if you can if because I will update the stuff there so yeah i will update if i still if the 120 peso coin remains in my hands or it now belongs to kent's so we are now going to count all of these so we'll begin with the 425 centavo coins. So, these four coins, these four quarter peso coins, will be counted as one peso. So that's one, there's two, three, 
Okay, that's three pesos. Three pesos. I'm writing on the paper, so I, I will not, so I will avoid miscalculation again. So I really have to thoroughly ex inspect these coins because they basically look the same if you don't take a close look. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. It's not twenty pesos. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. So it's now thirty pesos. <clears throat> Continue. 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50. That's $1. 52, 54, 56, 58, 60, 62, 64, 66, 68, 70, 72, 74, 76, 78, 80 pesos, 82, 84, 86, 88, 90 pesos, 92, 94, 96, 98, $2, 100 pesos, Jesus, all right, 100 pesos, we're not going to go 103, 104, 106, 109, 110, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 123, 124, 125, 126, 127, 128, 129, 130, 131, 132, 133, 134, 135, 136, 137, 138, 139, 140, 141, 142, 151, 152, 153, 154, 155, 156, 155, this is 156, all right. 157, 158, 159, 160, 161, 162, 163, 164, 165, 166, 167, 168, yep, 169, 170. 171, 172, 173, 174, 175, 176, 177, 178, 179, 180, 181, 182, 183, 184, 185, 186, 187 pesos and 25 centavos. Let's write that. 187.25. All right. Let's go. Oh, my God. Look at this stack. It's longer than my teeth. Actually, my mouth. It's almost as long as my mouth. So, 187, 188, 22, 
287. Point two five. So, huh? That stack of five peso coins alone contributed one hundred pesos. Oh my God! That's how much these coins add up. If the value of one coin just goes higher. Oh my God. That's, yep, a hundred. Okay. So let's continue with 287 pesos and 25 centavos. 287, 288, 289, 292. All right. 292. 297, 302, 307, uh, 307, 312, 317, 322, 327, 332, 337, 342, 347, 47.25. We are now at 347 pesos, and there's still these this much money left like oh sorry that uh, how are we there we go there we go these stacks of coins left these coins will contribute these coins will be the deciding factor if i got more coins than before or less uh, back in January, three months ago, I got 461 pesos. These coins will be the deciding factor if I got more coins than that, have more money than three months ago, or less, or the same. But I've been saving up, so this should be more. All right. 357, 367, 377, 387, 397, 47, 417, 427, 437, 447, 457, 467, 477, 487, 497 pesos and 25 centavos. Oh my god. I have earned more than $10 now. Oh, by the way, that's actually 500 pesos. 500 pesos will give you 10 Jollibee meals. Or even, I don't know, two buckets of Chicken Joy? Come on. $10 is very big here. You know, Back in 2020, in the news, Willy Revillame gave $10 and $20 equivalent bills here in the Philippines to Jeep drivers. And you know what they said? Thank you very much. This is a lot. Oh my God. $10 and $20 can change someone's life. Just give it to them. What the hell? That is how valuable and how poor this country is. Even just $10, 500 pesos will change someone's life. Do you know how heartwarming that is that you can change someone's life just by giving them 500 pesos? No, you don't because you are a peasant like me. Well, technically, I'm not a peasant. I don't use my money for a day-to-day -day basis, but you get the idea. So we will continue right now with these coins another set of 10 peso coins so 507 
517, 527, 537, 547, 557, 567, 577, 587, 597, 607, 617 pesos and 25 centavos. There are now only these coins left. That makes the total to 657 pesos and 25 centavos. 17 plus 40 is 57. 657 pesos and 25 centavos. That is the amount of money that I have in this crayon bank. So that's going to be it for now. For counting 2022 second quarter edition, please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we will see you guys again in July for the third quarter edition of counting 2022. And also stick around for October for the final quarter edition of counting 2022. 657 pesos and 25 centavos. Goodbye.